hey guys welcome to the youtube channel if you're new here it's ndagere thanks for coming so in today's video this is something that i've seen and it's really constant and we need to talk about it as a collective as a family but before i get into my views as always let's first watch our fellow black people talk about it i don't watch videos of us getting killed online no more I can't handle it no more. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't handle watching, seeing that. You hear me? I've gotten to a place where I don't want to see that no more because I'm going to be real. I'm going to want to do something. The last time I seen one of us being uh, assassinated, you know what I'm saying, on, online, being murdered on, on, on the phone, on camera, you hear me? It was a rage in my heart and in my spirit that, that made me want to get up and, and do something about it. So I had to prioritize my mental health and my spiritual health. I can't see that like that. That don't mean that I don't care that I'm desensitized and I'm detached from it. It's not at all. You know, I just, I can't see that anymore because some people, well, let me speak for myself. I can't, I can't shake it. You know what I'm saying? So I had to really slow down. And I think that it's okay for us to get to a place as a community to where we don't want to see that. I think we've gotten so used to seeing, you know, us being martyred online, you know what I'm saying, on, on the phone that we think is normal. That's, that shit's not normal. I had to take a step back and reapproach how I do activism, reapproach how I take in what we go through in our communities. I get tired of seeing us down on camera and it put out like it's normal. But for my own mental health purposes, I do not watch us down on, on camera. There's been a lot of discussion about black trauma exploitation and media going around on this app with the groundhog film versus the now this and Netflix thing. And I just want to point out this should be an eye opener for a lot of people because a lot of y'all don't realize that your favorite hard to watch black trauma movies, the ones that you think are giving you accurate historical perspective, the ones that you think are authentic black narratives being told to you by black people are not. There's a whole genre of media that's dedicated to exploiting black trauma and pain. Look at the writing credits of your favorite hard to watch black movie. Look at the director's room. Look at the team. Look at how many black people are on the team. This is what I've been trying to tell y'all. These movies are not authentic. They're not giving you accurate historical perspective. Most of them are pure fiction created in a writer's room that is dominated by non-black people. Stop buying into this foolishness. Just support black creatives. It's not this difficult. Specifically, I want to talk about slavery and how, you know, like every other black American, I'm just tired of seeing it in media. I still don't think we as a country even talk about it enough. And said media has a very large role in that. If you ask white people what slavery was, their answer is most likely going to be, you know, oh, black people were kept as slaves. They picked cotton and they were whipped, which, you know, technically true. But it's such a very simple definition of what slavery was as an enterprise, because in my family's origin state of Virginia, the main export wasn't even to cotton, it was tobacco and the selling and exporting of slaves, which really goes to show how in deep the enterprise of slavery was to America's economy, because we did everything, not just the cotton picking and the tobacco, but also the farming, the mining, like they couldn't have done anything without needing black people to exploit and abuse. And not only is that reductive in the sense of making slavery look like it wasn't some major thing that the country depended on, but on top of that, it erases all the endurance that black folk had during this period. Like, you know, a lot of people consider it an interruption of our history, but we still develop history to it. You know, hoodoo rituals, some of our best spirituals and hymns, the marooners, the, the black Shoshones. I, I think they were Shoshones. Someone can correct me on that. But a lot of rebellion and a lot of survival happened during that period that is just not really acknowledged in any of these movies. And it just turned slavery into a big abuse factory, which it was. But there are so many layers to, you know, why we survived and how we survived that stuff just isn't talking about. All I can really say is it'll be a cold day in hell before we get a critically acclaimed or even... Even a movie made about a free black family before the Civil War just doing everything they can to endure and survive with very little interruption by the ongoing slave enterprise. Like, that's just not the thing white folk are interested in. They just want to see the abuse and be absolved that they don't do it anymore. So what you've heard is exactly why I, as a person, chose to go the other direction and not talk about our history that much. And I'm not trying to say our history as black people is not valid. It is valid. But I feel like we as a people are so much focused on the history and we forget that we need to grow as a people. And because we are so much focused on the history, even the people that are in power take that and use it to their advantage because me seeing my skin tone and getting on the media or on tv 
and seeing your people being oppressed your people being murdered your people being tortured you know seeing slavery i mean also watching movies where you are still a slave in the movie where you could actually be watching and getting entertained it's also a place where you feel you are worthless and that is a problem to me i think everybody like i keep saying knows that we pass through slavery as black people as africans my question is why are we still supporting things that cause trauma to us and pay money for them why are you paying money for a film like the lady said that is going to show how inferior you are it's going to show you in pain a lot of documentaries are put on netflix or are put on places and yeah we still pay money to watch them because you're like oh we are represented and that's when also the problem of why black people think celebrities are our representation when it's also a problem because they are also getting paid to play those roles in those movies that actually represent trauma of black people of africans every black person on this planet is seen in that sense whether i'm in africa whether you're in asia whether you're in europe or america itself or south america itself if you represent your skin tone in a position where we are seen as slaves seen as you know gun people seen as people who had nothing it is put on every person who has this skin tone that you're representing and that's what you guys maybe didn't understand or don't understand i mean i realized that when i was still young you know and also the situation of George Floyd, as I keep saying on my TikTok, guys, that situation traumatized me. I felt so hurt and I didn't know really that that's how even you are treated in America or in abroad places. I thought it's like roses and flowers. Of course, I knew there were some, you know, negative stereotypes, but I mostly saw successful stereotypes about all of you in those places. So that situation triggered me. It really pissed me off. And now we are here in this generation of internet. And the only thing that you scroll and see on TikTok, on social media, on YouTube, it's always going to be about a black man doing this, a, a black woman doing this, black people this. It's always negative. And we are also participating because if you can get a camera and record your people in pain, you're participating. If you get a camera and say shit about a black man, you're participating. If you get a camera and say shit about a black woman, you're also participating. So we as a people, I think we are also to blame at this point. I feel like we as Africans, we as black people at this point, we are to be blamed. We are the blame because we are participating. We are not supporting ourselves and empowering ourselves. The only things that we are focused on is pain and slavery. And I sometimes don't blame people who produce these movies because at the end of the day, it's us as black people, as Africans, who are still going to pay and get excited because you see your skin tone in a movie being published with big people you call celebrities, we get excited. But what empowerment are you getting from something that is causing you trauma? What empowerment are you getting from seeing a person like you being lynched what empowerment do we get from these movies why are we still like not saying no because if you get on media and social media let's say and then you're seeing your people that look like you in trauma it's subconsciously or unsubconsciously going to trigger you whether you know it or not it just does because that's how life is but the fact that we are also participating now and pushing more of our slavery and trauma on other people's faces it's a problem how many times do you see other races of people's trauma on movies on news on social media or anywhere nobody it's always us as black people how many times do you scroll on social media and find seven or ten empowerment videos on black people how many times we see a lot of trauma we see less empowerment and that's a problem we see more pain and less love and that's a problem we see more divide than love and that's a problem we need to wake up from this system that wants to keep us in trauma division 
and pain and that's why i advocate for love like we need to love ourselves and grow as a people and not even to compete with other races of people because i believe we are whole human beings and we should connect and love each other but we as black people need to understand that we need to grow not to compete with other races but to be proud of who we are that we came from whatever they say we came from but we are here and we are growing and we are going to make it that's what we need that's the spirit that we need i'm not trying to say we are the cause of the problem but we are also participating and so the more we focus on the history of 100 years ago 200 years ago 50 years ago and the more these other races of people focus on the 100 years to come 50 years to come and 200 years to come yeah see the difference and that's what we need to actually focus on so guys if you've not subscribed please subscribe and thank you to everybody that's supporting the channel and that's all i have to say guys and i'll see you in the next video bye